Well, well, well. <laughs> We're back at it again. No wormless. Wormless. How y'all doing this morning? This good Sunday afternoon. Mm -hmm. Just depending on where you're at. Um, it's about 11, almost 12 here. So, um, again, we just want to say welcome. We're doing another mm -hmm. video here. Um, and we're just talking about uh, what we're getting ready for. Um, for all of you guys who know, who are friends with my wife, my lovely wife, Tanisha, <laughs> here. Uh, yesterday she put it, she put out a message, a Facebook message, that we're about to start a 90-day uh, detox. Cleanse. Cleanse. <laughs> uh, getting rid of all of that bad stuff that's in us, that waste. Uh, toxic phys uh, physical toxins as well as emotional toxins mm -hmm. um, you know things that have been uh, traveling with us and For just months, just weeks, years. just dwelling within us so yeah we mm -hmm. we just we felt the need to um, do something about it rather than just keep keep going on with it holding it holding mm -hmm. it in in us um, yeah, we, we wanted to do something. So, you know, my wife, she put it out there yesterday. Got a couple uh, response, a couple likes, a couple hearts. So, and but we didn't do it for that reason. Um, we're not seeking any type of validation or anything like that. But we are just kind of being more transparent and just showing, um, showing our story, showing our story, telling our story, and just putting it out there and, you know, uh, actually doing something about it, you know. So yeah, I'm glad she did that. I'm on board. Uh, we're gonna do it together as we do everything. We are a team or partnership. Um, the best friends. Um, every decision that we we make, we make them together, and we move forward. And we're trying to accomplish our goals. So. Right, and not only that too. Is this year has been very challenging, as many of y'all know for. Us and our son, Jalil, who was diagnosed with chronic kidney disease because of his diagnosis in utero, lower urinary tract obstruction. And so this whole year has been weighted down with the medical journey and intensity of that and being new parents and trying to transition into this medical care and what's, what's to be expected from a long-term mm -hmm. standpoint. So there was a lot of um, stress harvest inside of us, emotionally, physically, spiritually, mm -hmm. um, even connecting um, from an intimate standpoint as husband and wife, a lot of tension. And so I felt the need and so did my husband to detoxify ourselves in a way that we are detoxing and then we're replenishing with good stuff mm -hmm. because there's a misconception that those who decide to do a detox, they're lacking nutrition. And that is not the case if you do it the right way. So, and my husband knows he's been in this this journey for a while, helping health and fitness journey for a while. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, just like my wife said, you know, if you do it the right way, if you have knowledge, uh, that fear can disappear, uh, and that's not only in what you're eating, but uh, those are the fears and the misconceptions mm -hmm. uh, in every area of life. If you have the knowledge, if you have the understanding, uh, the know-how to do something, then that fear of the unknown or you know whatever is in the background that you can't see will disappear. So mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of misconceptions out there about detoxing and fasting and mm -hmm. you know uh, going without your favorite food, mm -hmm. the, the food that we all grew up on uh, from our families. Mm -hmm. um, there's this big scare, that fear out there. So what are you going to eat? What mm -hmm. are you going to do? How are you going to survive? Mm -hmm. You know, are you going to die? You know. <laughs> All of this stuff out here, yeah, you know. Become anorexic. Are you going to become anorexic? You know, are you going to be skin and bones? Mm -hmm. Well, no, we're not. Um, if you know how to do it the right way. Um, so, again, today we're not going to go too long. We're just doing a quick little video, but we're like I said, we're just addressing the fact that hey, we're on Monday tomorrow, October first. October first, we're going to start 
uh, our 90 day challenge is going to take us out throughout the whole uh, remainder of this year. Uh, we want to go into the uh, next year, Lord willing, fresh, renewed mind and spirit and body. Uh, 2019 is going to be a great year. We're already throwing it out there. We're claiming it. Uh, we know if we got, you know, um, you know, divine help that we we can't lose. Right. We, we can't lose. So we're going into 2019 with a renewed spirit mm -hmm. uh, that things are going to get better. They can only get better. Right. Uh, from, all we can go is up. You know, all <laughs> we can do is go up because we've been down um, for many months going through the fire, but learning in the uh, process. In the process. Mm -hmm. and so many lessons. So many lessons. You our know. son has taught us that eight months. Man, our son is incredible. You know, he is <laughs> greatness and courageous. You know, that's his name, <laughs> Jalil Jaha. You know, he has taught us so many things within his eight months of being alive. Mm -hmm. One of those things is preparation. Preparation. Preparation <laughs> is key. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Every day, me and my wife together, we're prepping, uh, prepping, prepping, Pre prepping his milk. Bad. His milk, his medicine, mm -hmm. uh, his dialysis um, equipment, and all the stuff he needs for that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that makes life so much easier uh, when we prep. Mm -hmm. um, you know, taking notes, taking sure notes, you know all of his medical tracking, treatment. tracking mm -hmm. where he's going, where he's at today. Um, all of that is key, you know, mm -hmm. being organized. Mm -hmm. You know, we want to go into 2019 being organized, and we are not waiting for 2019 to start. We're going to start right now by being more organized, uh, doing the prep work, having the preparation on point, mm -hmm. um, being consistent. Okay. You know, our son is consistent. He has a schedule. <laughs> you know, every day at a certain time, he's going to bed. Mm -hmm. uh, he got to get his nap time in. He got to get his play time and development in. Mm -hmm. You know, so he is showing us that, being on a solid schedule is, is key. It serves him in it, and he respects it. Yeah. You know, when he's off schedule, then he shows it through fussiness, irritation, and just doesn't show that playful spirit that he normally has. Right. And so it has definitely caused us to up our game as his parents, as husband and wife, to prepare for ourselves, <laughs> you know, and... The thing about it is we've been talking the same old song for a while, but now our son has forced us to put it into action. Yeah. And my husband made a good analogy before we even did the video. He said, how can we go to battle if we don't have our weapons, our uh, ammunition, mm -hmm. our body armor, yeah. our strategic plan? How can we go to war? And the same rules apply with health and fitness and spiritual and spiritual health. Yeah. Is you got to have the tools laid out for you. Yeah. I mean, and again, you know, going back to um, the detox for the 90 days, you know, it's not only going to be focusing on what we're eating, changing our eating, our dietary uh, habits, but, you know, in incorporating more prayer into our life. You know, we've already been praying uh, throughout this, before the journey, oh, yeah. throughout this journey, mm -hmm. and we're going to continue to pray and uplift the divine one mm -hmm. uh, and seek his wisdom and his knowledge and his help and his understanding. Because he's his source. He's his source in all this. He's most definitely. He's definitely the source. That's where we gain our energy mm -hmm. and our well being from. So, and, uh, increasing that throughout this 90 days is a must. Mm -hmm. uh, also, more meditation, going within oneself. Hearing that voice from God and mm -hmm. and that on your own intuition, um, you know, just going within and looking at the traumas, looking at the damage, looking at the hurt, mm -hmm. looking at the pain, you know, going in within and tackling those things, resolving those things. Mm -hmm. That's going to take place on the 90 days, um, you know, get, getting our awareness up, mm -hmm. you know, our consciousness, getting becoming more conscious um, through this journey. Um, that's going to be part of it, you know, so it's not only just detoxing from a physical standpoint, uh, changing what you're eating, what you're drinking, but changing what you're thinking, mm -hmm. you know, that's where it starts. You know, you got to focus on, uh, how you think about things, your perception, you know, you can either have a cloudy perception mm -hmm. or you can have a clear view 2020 vision yeah. that, you know, can take you far into the future and help you to be successful in life. So, 
you know, this is our start right here. Mm -hmm. Like I said, on Monday, we're going to start. And in this video right here, we're going to also show you, you know, our weight. <laughs> we're going to get brave <laughs> and we're going to show you how we look right now in the present moment. You know, I got this daddy gut. I got the mommy gut. <laughs> hey, and you know, we're, we're, we're making a decision to change and to work on ourselves mm -hmm. gradually. You know, mm -hmm. we're not trying to go out here tomorrow and lose 20 pounds. Right. No, we're not doing that. That would that would be dangerous. You know what I'm saying? Five hours on the treadmill. Yeah, no, we're not doing that. You know, we, yes, we are radical. Yes, we want change, but we're not stupid. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We're not ignorant. So we're gonna do things the right way and decently in order, mm -hmm. uh, and gradually lose, uh, release that waste. Not mm -hmm. lose because anything you lose, you're always trying to gain back. Right. So we're we're releasing uh, negative emotions. Uh, uh, waste out of our bodies, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? At the end of this 90 day, we want our skin to be glowing. Mm -hmm. We want our hair to be glowing. We want our eyes to be clearer. Mm -hmm. We want to we want to sound clear. We want to look uh, slimmer, mm -hmm. you know, everything. We want to have more energy. These are all the things that we're seeking and praying about, and we're going to put a plan of action to get to, to get the results. Right. So, so we're going to do a weigh-in, mm -hmm. and we're going to give you guys, we're going to open up... Um, you know, our lives and be transparent and show you where we're at. Mm -hmm. And in two weeks time, we're going to uh, do another video where we do, uh, incorporate a weigh in and just show you <laughs> where we're at. And then by the end of the month, we'll do another weigh in mm -hmm. uh, just to show you uh, the, the tracking. Mm -hmm. And then also in this video, we're going to show you what we're going to be eating. So I know a lot of y'all are waiting for that. You know what I'm saying? So man, you know, uh, I hear you guys, Quinn and Tanisha, I hear you guys talking about, you know, changing your mind, changing what you eat, mm -hmm. uh, you know, incorporating all of these different things into your life. But I'm interested to see what are you going to be what eating? What does it look like? What do it look like? So yeah. after we do the weigh-in, we're going to show y'all uh, on the, behind us what we're going to be eating. And I'm gonna, probably going to be adding more things to the oh, menu. yeah, we're going to spice it up because you do, I am... My husband jokes with me, I got to have a creative choice of eating. I can't just eat the same thing. But so it's caused me to dig deep and get a couple books to kind of spice it up in the kitchen. Yeah. Um, but still make it holistic for our, for our bodies yeah. to process easily. So. Yeah, man. And so there is another thing you have said, dear husband, was that the fact of mental health. Mm. And, and and when I went to Ted Choins because um, I met some lovely queens and still to this day uh, interact with them on a regular basis and we we are committed to personal development mm -hmm. and um, Ayanla, which is a life coach that a lot of people respect and love as well as Infinite Waters who is a life coach which a lot of millions, millions of subscribers mm -hmm. as he says have millions of subscribers that are willing to change, change their mind, change their heart, change their body, change their spirit. And that is key because they address the trauma. They don't just talk about a certain lifestyle, physical lifestyle, but they deal with the root cause mm -hmm. of all this damage. Yeah. Psychologically, what are you harvesting in yourself that you need to let go so that your body can cleanse itself? Yeah. And so... When we talk about meditation, we're definitely going to be listening so, to a lot of good personal development in the process. And then if we find something that's interesting, we'll more than likely share it with y'all. definitely. And help you along this journey, too, if you yeah. decide to join. Yeah, man. So. I mean, we're, we're, we're basically inviting you guys to come along with us on this journey. Oh, yeah, because it's going to be a journey. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm so ready. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I've been walking around with a lot of baggage. Yeah. You know, a lot of stress. Uh, you know, you guys have heard our story. We've mm -hmm. been in Cincinnati mm -hmm. for the last six months. You know. Um, Four months that he came, came here. Came here. So, you for know. another we got a, a lot of things that we're kind of just carrying along and we're finally at a place where mm -hmm. there is more stability uh, in our lives. Our son is back home with us. He's doing well. Uh, as many of y'all know, seeing the videos that my wife has been doing on the daily mm -hmm. or every other day or whatever on Facebook or Instagram or mm -hmm. YouTube, mm -hmm. uh, he's home with us. He's doing great. Uh, so that has brought some stability into our home. Uh, we now have a schedule kind of built around him mm -hmm. and now we can start getting back to the things that, that are important to us mm -hmm. as well that's going to help us be 
better parents, better parents mm-hmm. well, sound, strong, mm-hmm. um, you know, again, balance. Because if we're not balanced, you know, if we're not <laughs> solid standing on that on our square, mm-hmm. then how can we help our son? How can we? And then how can we help anybody else? Right. So you have to take care of yourself. Mm-hmm. You know, last video I done uh, when I was with my wife, mm-hmm. I talked about hey, it's self care. Self care. Mm-hmm. You know, we have to take care of ourselves as parents who are going through something like this or similar. Um, oh. Some, some type of medical problem that you may be going through with yourself or with your child or some other family member, it's important that you take care of them, mm-hmm. but it's also very important that you take care of yourself. Absolutely. So, and it's not selfish, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to say that, um, like I said, we're going to do a weigh-in. My wife's going to do a weigh-in. I'm going to do a weigh-in. We're going to show y'all how we look, and then we're going to show y'all what we're about to eat. Right, so, right. And then the, the, the question that stick out to me is I asked today is like, who will take care of the caregiver? Who will mm. take care of the caretaker? Yeah. You know, the caretaker, give, caregiver is giving their love, their care to yeah. someone that they love. Yeah. But who will take care of them yeah. at the end of the day? And so yeah. this is the driving force to make us want to change. Yeah. If not, you know, we will, our son will suffer in the process. Most definitely. And I always wanted to say this, too, you know, to anybody that's going to be uh, watching this, taking it in, considering uh, coming on, uh, coming along with us in the journey. Hey, man, you don't have to be, you know, vegans, vegetarians, no. fruitarians. You don't have to be none of that. Mm-hmm. Uh, raw food or plant based. You don't have to be none of that. We're we're not. You know, no. we're, we're, we're we're not we're not. <laughs> There's a misconception yeah. on that too. Yeah, we're we're not no, we're not no, vegan. No. We're not vegetarians. Mm-hmm. What we are doing. We are incorporating more plant-based foods into our lives. Regimen, yeah. You know, we do have a goal in the future, but we're not there yet. So, mm-hmm. you know, you don't have to be perfect, perfect mm-hmm. to start this. You can start where you're at. Mm-hmm. And as long as you have the necessary tools and equipment mm-hmm. and, you know, the mindset, then you can move forward and you can be successful. And if you're not successful throughout your journey, you can just easily get your, pick yourself up, right. dust yourself off, and continue to move forward because mm-hmm. we all stumble, we all fall. Right. But it doesn't make you a failure. You just got to get back on it mm-hmm. and just continue to move forward. Mm-hmm. So, Yeah, don't think you have it all together because we are far from that. <laughs> no, no. We're just trying to get back on a horse. Yep. Uh, that we fell off of so most definitely and then again tying our son back into this we're not only doing this for ourselves because we understand that by us making the decision to do it for ourselves and to take care of ourselves that we're setting up a certain type of environment for our, our son family, yeah. for our family our son you know and our future uh, family uh, that hey you know we're teaching them these values these principles mm-hmm. at an early age it's going to be always around them and it's going to be easy for them to make these type of decisions mm-hmm. because we, uh, as their parents, we are their example and we're, you know, we're giving them all the necessary tools right. and we're showing them how to do it and we're, and we're actually doing it. We're not just talking about it. Mm-hmm. So, you know, for our son, uh, Jalil, you know, we want him to come up in this household with structure and discipline and mm-hmm. self-control mm-hmm. and consistency and dedication and motivation because that's what's going to help him be successful yeah. along with a lot of other things in this life, mm-hmm. you know. So, you know, we're just setting a tone. Right. And we're starting now, you know. We're not we're not trying to wait till one of us come down with a serious disease before we make mm-hmm. a decision to take care of ourselves. Mm-hmm. Prevention is better than remedy. Right. You know. And maintenance. So, because your body needs maintenance to keep serving you. Yep. And and the thing too is like looking at Jaleel, you know, he has the opportunity. This is a beautiful time for change in America. You see a lot of lifestyle changes coming forth, a new wave of consciousness. Yeah. And so the pressure of being different is no longer there. And, and, and when we were growing up, there was a lot, a lot of pressure. If you weren't in, in with the in crowd, you would get criticized or ridiculed. Where with him, you know, he has the opportunity to do great things and it be acceptable in society. And so that's what I'm looking forward to. And that not only that, is that one of the songs I love is by Erica Badu, Bag Lady. 
bag lady. <laughs> you go miss your bus. You yeah. got all those bags like that. Yeah. It's so true. We need to get rid of the bags. You know, we're carrying all this weight, all this hurt, all this anger, all this fear. Yeah. And and I can't do this. I can't do that. Yeah. You will never get to the place you need to be. Nope. You know, you have to release and let go. And so that's the whole purpose for us to kick this off. And I'm really excited that I've been blessed, you know, to be able to have a partner who's willing to do it with me because it's one thing when you're trying to do it by yourself. But, but because we're doing it together, it's, it's much more rewarding. Most definitely. And yes. back, back, back to her, you know, hey, it's just as reward, uh, rewarding uh, to myself to have her as my, uh, my partner, my best friend, my wife who is on board mm -hmm. and uh, not doing it grudgingly, wants to do it. Oh. Uh, you know, <laughs> willing to sit down and we both talk about what's going to be good for us yeah. and sticking to that plan, you know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. I could want to do it, but guess what? She could be wanting to cook mm -hmm. all this other stuff and do all this other stuff that's yeah. not uh, not <laughs> beneficial to me. And I'm not going to be successful in my goal because, mm -hmm. you know, we're divided. Salvation. You know what I'm saying? And same for her, you know what I'm saying? She could want to do what's right and do all these good things mm -hmm. and I could be like hey where's the steak or where's this and where's that you know and mm -hmm. I want to eat this and I know I don't want my ribs ready yeah and I don't want to <laughs> eat that you know what I'm saying so I think by us having uh, a certain mindset and having a certain goal and not creating or allowing division to come into our home mm -hmm. to divide us I think it makes us even more powerful you know yes. what I'm saying and unstoppable so you know Let's get into it. Let's get to the good part. Let's get into the good part. You We're going to do the way in. You going to weigh yourself or you want me to go first? Um, <laughs> doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. Since you're closer to the scale, I'll say you go first. Good deal. All 